Something I'm thinking is if I did um, spring mod for the spacebar. If I did, I lost the spacebar forever because it's going to be impossible to find it. But I might do it for the spacebar regardless. So I'll leave the spacebar for last and then we'll do that. Oh man, Lub Helios asked Chris. I am I have the exact same problem. I always get like super in in the size. I don't know if that's the correct word. But when I when I need to buy something that I need to choose colors, it's always hard for me, even for boards, for everything. Normal inks are silent, normal. Normal black inks. I am not a fan of silent switches in general, but I still need to, do, to give silent inks a try. First, I wanted to make a nine themed but now all this other sets coming. <laughs> Qual a função desses ferrinhos? What is the function of those small irons? Which ones do you mean? The ones that I... Eles são estabilizadores. They are stabilizers. They are so that when you press the key of center, the both sides are actuated. They're called stabilizers. Let me do something here real quick. Let me take out the desk mat. Gonna solder for the first time my first board next week. Got a cheap soldering iron. Do you have any suggestion? Just uh, don't keep the iron too much on the pads. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you a few things that I do that is not related to the iron itself, but they're, they are good tricks. Uh, the first thing that I like to do when I have a fixed plate like this is to try to put the switches, some switches on the middle and some on the corners like this, and then try to solder them on a crisscross cross pattern. So I'm gonna start here, go to here, there and here, and then here, and maybe some on the middle. Another good tip is, if you look at your switches, you're gonna see, sorry for that, that they have small little feet here and one thing that you want to always make sure before soldering is that those two nubs here, they are touching the PCB, so the switch is flush with the PCB. Th those are a few golden rules that I follow that assures that you get like a perfect build. So always make sure that you press the switches all the way in. And then another thing you can do that I most, most of the times I also do is this. You solder one of the legs first, so you come in and solder one of the legs, like this, right? 
and then you get the PCB and take a look to see if the switch is touching the PCB. You can see that mine is, but if it isn't, what you can do is hold the switch and push it against the PCB and then reflow or just touch a little bit the, the leg of the switch and make sure that it's flush with the PCB. That's another thing that I like to do. Then for instance, let's say that this, this switch that I'm soldering now, it is not touching the PCB. It's kind of like this. It's a little bit off from the PCB. It's a bit of, uh, the PCB is a, li a little lifted, right? Let me show you this. And I'm, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna solder. And then I'm gonna check if it's touching the PCB. And you're gonna see, can you see like the gap that the switch has with the PCB there? That's not right, right? This is gonna make your plate be a little bit off. And then in the end, you're not gonna get a good sound. You're not gonna get a good feeling. And even your keycaps can be a little crooked from this, right? So that's, oh, I'm sorry. So that's when you should come here, touch the solder joint that you did, and then just press the PCB until the switch touches the PCB and then let it go, let it go. just like frozen. <laughs> and then if you look again, you can see that now it's really touching. It's really hard to tell from this view, I guess, but you can see that it's now touching the PCB. You can also look from the side and make sure that the little nub is touching the PCB. That scared the shit out of me. What, what did? And then when you're sure that the switch is flush with the PCB, you can come back and solder the other leg, just like that. Those are the advices that I can give you for a good, flawless soldering. Another thing you can do is push the PCB while you're soldering, because that assures that the switch is going to be flush with the PCB. That's something I always do as well. The picture that popped up. Oh, that picture? <laughs> Let me see if I can put it back. This is, <laughs> this is the Artisan keycap that I unboxed, another version of it. Someone was talking about that colorway and I pulled that up. Also keep a clean tip, it helps with transferring heat. Yeah, so you ha I have this brass. So most of the people use the, the little sponge with water, but you, you can also use those um, shaved brass kind of thingy and I am always cleaning it between soldering. Like I do maybe one or two switches or one or two legs and then I clean it out.
It looks like faces. Yes, they are called Watchers. All right, and then from this point on, you can just solder them in order. I like to put them all in at this point. Já queimou o dedo? Did you already burn your fingers? Yes. One time. Can you see here that... So the heat from this goes from this point on. One time, by mistake, I held the iron here, like that. And this thing is super hot, so I did burn my finger in a couple of, a couple of times already. Watchers are like small, small all heads. Yes. Didn't the Inks have had some issues in the past? Yes, they had a problem where the leaves would, pop, you know, be loose. But they are indeed fixed. I only get got like 10 or so switches with that problem on my early inks, but they are golden now. And still my favorite switches. Just love those switches. Have you tried the alpacas? My alpacas are reaching my proxy today and I am sending them to Brazil hopefully today as well. So I will try them only in two to three weeks. Where do you recommend them? So I don't like linears with um, thick plates like this. But if you're if you want to do uh, on brass, for instance, I would do black ink since they are a little heavier. But for everything else, uh, for like plastic plates and the you know plastic plates in general, I prefer the red inks. But I don't have any restrictions for them. I wouldn't use them on integrated plate. I think that's the only place where they don't feel as good, like the M60A. Uh, the Think 6.5, I don't like those keyboards with linears. Uh, why some keyboards you need to solder and others not? Be um, so Chopper, there are two different kinds of PCBs, those parts that where you put the switches. Some of them are hot swappable and some of them are soldered in. And depending on that, you use one over the other. Does that make sense? So it depends on the PCB that you're using. Music is I meant, where do you recommend Dubai inks? Oh, I think everybody that carries inks at this point have them fixed. Novel keys for sure. I think even uh, those I bought on um, KB Defense and they are flawless. So now what I'm going to do uh, is to check if I have one of those switches that are heavier than the others. Because I suspect I use the heavy spring for the space bar. But maybe I didn't. No, it doesn't feel like. So I'm going to replace the spring on this one for the space bar. And I'm replacing it with 98 gram springs from Novel Keys. I really like them for space bars. Okay, thank you. Oh, you bet. Integrated plates always work best with silent switches. Yes, I only do integrated plate with silent switches. Only, exclusively.
how do you know when to use kin films and when not to? Um, <laughs> for me, it's kind of um, like if I am inspired to do add them, I add them. If not, no, it's not something that I really think about. But there are some switches that are mandatory, like the creamies. They are good switches as long. No lube on that spring. It doesn't need springs. It's very heavy, not rattly at all. I can show you. In my experience, you don't need for that one switch. Can you see? There is no need at all. There is no ping from those heavy springs. That's why I don't lube it. I don't even care. Everglide switches also need films, yes. But for the rest of the switches, Gatoron sound better with, um, you know, regular Gatorons sound better with films. I think they become a little less wobbly. Uh, but for the rest of the switches, it's whether you're inspired for that or not. That's my rule of thumb. Is spring swapping something you do after having a lot of experience with different springs? Um, no, uh, I mean, you, you're not going to get the experience unless you, you, you swap them, right? It's something I think you can safely experiment with. I like, especially at the beginning where when I did a lot of retooled blacks and the springs on those were trash. But now switches like this that come with a very nice spring I don't do as much spring swapping as I used to because I'm really happy with how the switches on inks, for instance, are. But uh, it's I, I, I think it's a very nice thing for everybody that is new to the hobby. You mean, I mean, after you build like one or two keyboards, if you feel confident, I would recommend you to play a little bit with spring swapping, but nothing against doing that from the gecko as well. Just burn my finger for someone that has. The only houses I don't film are Panda, Altimo Sky. Probably something else I'm not thinking of right now. Lately, I have been filming all my builds. Not filming this one because the switches were already done, so I didn't see the need. But if I'm opening the switches now to lube them, I and I have films, I usually do go ahead and film them. Yes, those, those are very nice recommendations by Wix. Just burn my fingers again. I'm inspired today. One row down, 
three, four to go. All right, two done. Okay, almost ready, guys. All right, getting to the last row here.
MX Blue is 62 grams. I didn't know that. Uh, they're just not necessarily consistent. That seems right enough. What? Hey, Demon, how are you, man? Welcome. All right, soldering is done. Let's see. Let's see me do this mess. So yeah, we are building this Baca 60. And uh, we're okay. I thought we were having a small issue, but we are not. What? Let me take this mat out of the way. Hold on. Fixed layout breastplate looks so nice. I know, right? Breast, uh, uh, fixed layout is the best thing ever. Out of the way. Before I screw this guy in, let me just check that I actually soldered everything because I a lot of times I miss some soldering points. And I just remember that I need to flash this most likely. Chopper is asking if this is for a client. And no, Chopper, I only did one keyboard for a client, and that client was a friend. I never do builds that are not for myself. That, that can change in the future, but today, no, this is for me. So now comes the question, which keycaps should we use here? Can you guys from chat let me know what you guys think would look nice here? I can, uh, I'm gonna go to my drawer and see a few that I have ready to use. all the keyboards for yourself. I do lagger, yes. I'm a hoarder. I have Red Samurai, let's see. 
I have Striker, Hamon, White on Black. I have Space Cadet, Yuri, probably Laser, Red Riot And I think that's it <laughs> Let's try white on black Is that being used somewhere? I feel like the whole kit isn't here. Hold on. White and black. That's why. But I am not using it anywhere. Okay, this white on oh I know what, what the deal is. Uh, this kit is being used on my Orion with uh, Moto, Sky Moto. I'm gonna I have another kit of white on black. Let me grab it. This set here, I never used. This is the first time we're gonna use it. I had it for a while now. Vai ficar bonitão. Thank you, Chopper. He said it's gonna look nice. I think so too. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. And one nice thing about white and black that I didn't remember is that it does have stepped control, which is my favorite thing. Along with out GR that is coming in less and less sets nowadays.
Are you joining the Cat Rifter GB? I still don't know, Toy Hill. Are you? I am tempted. And I'm probably also join. Did you join the GSKT GB fiasco? Why fiasco? Nostalgic. I did. What happened? That I'm not aware. I am definitely joining the new Infinity PBT also from the key company. I can just imagine what modern Dolch and 9009 would look on this board. I do have both, but I am almost finished with white on black. Niskas. Okay, we have a small issue, which is, I think, the out is a little bit... is hitting the case. That's not good. That's not good at all. It is definitely hitting the case. I wonder if anyone else got the wind keyless version of this board. Oh, if it was the right out, it would not be an issue. But since it's the left one, yeah, it is a big issue. Uh, what can I do here? Can I try to push the plate? Let's see if the, I have the option to do so. Yes, I love weird caps like that, just like Milkshake. I love Milkshake as well. Wish there would be more DSA sets. You, you like DSA, Tokyo, Tokyo? Man, I hate DSA. For me, it's one of the worst. I don't like uniform profiles in general. Oh, I didn't want to do what I did last time, but here it goes. So I think we can close this. Did we? No, we can't close it, can we? No. This video was meant only to be G Geek Hack, but everyone crushed the server, so GB Runner released the Google form on Discord and sold out in five minutes. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. But that's a common thing that happens a lot, right? Did you get a slot on GS? Yeah, I did. I did. Did you? Naskis? Yeah, I don't think there is almost no room for maneuver here. And it's definitely an issue. Oh boy. That is a big disappointment. Oh, there is wiggle room. Okay, I think we are good. The problem is not vertical. Oh, there is no wiggle room, actually. Hold on. Let's see. Nope, there is no wiggle room at all. So if there is no wiggle room, that means that 
Okay, if we can assemble it. Okay, let me let me try to screw it in while pulling the plate forward like this. Maybe we'll be able to correct this. That's what I'm hoping at least. Nice, Naskis. What what options did you get? Okay, let's put those, those four on and see. Okay. After realigning the, the plate, it seems like we're golden, which I am super thankful for. Because I really want this board to work. I love it. And I just realized I'm missing a screw. Where did he go? I don't know where one of the screws went. Maybe here? No. Now the mystery of this crew. Where are you? Here it is. Standard red unsee full plate tip order, you know. <laughs> yeah, I did. I think I did win keyless. I don't remember the color though. Oh, and I closed the freaking tray and I forgot to get the space bar. Oh, I hate myself. Hey, Ziggy, how are you, man? Thank you for the follow. I don't remember if I got black or gray for the color. I am so glad out is not working again. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Let's plug it in. Okay, I don't expect this to be flashed with the wind keyless. Um, so I don't even know. Yeah, how do you like it? I think it looks amazing as well. Very nice. So let's do a typing test. Just see, is this working as it is? Okay, here we go. Let me turn off the music. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, backspace is messed up. Oh, actually there is a website, a very nice typing website. Let me show you guys. And I might as well use, use it. I like it very much. No, 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 it's not messed up. It's messed up on the on the layer programming, on the firmware. 
and the the keys it themselves are good so let me see where do i set the zoom to oh man what did i do why can't i escape Let's see your zoom 100 percent there we go all right so let's use a theme let's use modern doge as the theme all right let's do this oh caps lock is on hold on redo 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 That was horrible. But anyways, I think it sounds good, given that, you know, this is a brass uh, plate, so not going to sound as great as a plastic. Um, but I am pleased with this, and I think it looks really good. And I'm so glad this works. All right. Uh, any other questions? Any comments, guys? Before we wrap this up, anything you want to see, anything you want to hear. Add some color, some accents. Yeah, I mean, this is a, I went, since we're using white on black, I went for the classic look. What I think I can do is put on a, an artisan. I think that the artisan that I got today is a perfect match for this board. So why don't we put it here? Let's see here. We can either put it here, like that, or we can put it here. Let's see how it looks here. Like that. I think I prefer it like this. What do you guys prefer? Right side better? Yeah. Oh, so we have <laughs> we have mixing mixed opinions. I liked it better here as well. Old school style. Ask, okay. Escape is one at like five by two. Also I can't count. There we go. Can you please make us hear the spacebar sound? It's in a high pitch noise. Yes. And that is a common issue with brass plates. You're going to get a loud sound from the spacebar. But let me play it again for you guys. You could use a silent switch for the space bar. Yes, absolutely, Kanutar. Here, here it is, the bottom. And I can probably also... Sh does, it does bottom out hard, right? Yes. So we're using... Hold on. 
we're using Everglide steps. And this is the bottom. Let me show you the, what was the price? Uh, three something, if I remember correctly. 370 or something like that. And here are the steps, um, the Everglades steps. Okay, steps are definitely not the problem, it's more the plate. So yeah, the price, I can check it for you in one sec. Let's see if I can do that right now. Yeah, 337 actually. 325 was the board itself. I paid PayPal fees and then the rest was, I guess, shipping. Oh no, shipping was included. Yeah, looks like shipping was included. So 33703 shipped. This is a, a sandwich mount, Kunyotor. <laughs> Do you enjoy the board? You seem meh about it. No, I did. I really did enjoy it. Um, the only thing that always uh, is a problem with me is the brass plate. I might, uh, you know, do a palm plate for this. Godspeed 75 is live tomorrow. Yeah, I saw that key H. I am not a fan of 75% that don't have the, the function keys uh, on a cluster, like separate from the main keyboard so the, for that reason i'm not considering that board but are you getting it while we talk let me see if i can program this i can show you guys what i'm doing while we talk oh, hold on hello how are you dido Oh my god, I am always... Let me use another board to program this board. Hold on. I'm going to use this board here to try and program it. When you build about a thousand keyboards, you sometimes can may about the build. Yes. <laughs> No, the only thing that throws me off is the brass plate, to be honest. I think it looks amazing, but I don't love the sound. But I really like this keyboard. I mean, there is no way not to. It is an amazing board. Oh, great. So now I'm stuck with caps lock. Let me see if I can bring out the on-screen keyboard to disable caps. Yes, I could. That's nice. All right, let's see. I think I'm just going to wait. Oh, yeah, you're Felipe as well. I remember now. I'm just going to wait for the 7V. Yeah, I am waiting for the 7V for sure.
Let me see if I can clone this. Repository not found. Here we go. So I'm gonna try to build the firmware. Oh, and I will need another USB cable. Hold on. To program while I have this keyboard plugged in. Mm, and I think I will have to disassemble it to program. Um, Some module in it. This will take a little bit. So while that's being done, let's go to here. And then make um this is from project keyboard or canon keys canon keys slash and c with my oh yeah so it's it's dependent on this thing that i think just finished let's see if it works now No, so it's not Canon keys. Hold on, let me remember here. Oh, good. So how... How can I make this full screen? God damn it. Windows is playing with me right now. How do I even... Oh, there we go. Okay, so the name of the board is NC and... So... Canon keys S and underscore C. So that was my mistake. So let's do it. I'm gonna do make and see <laughs> Mr. Keeps. Hmm. Oh my god. I will have to run this guy. Which obviously doesn't work because we oh no, it should work. I like how they sell they say run this but there is no thing mm, no that's not the problem we have all that already all right guys i think i'm not gonna bore you guys to death with this i'm gonna do this off camera Thank you so much, Salt Rock, Rock Lamp, to sticking around. Uh, let's have a final look at our board. So here it is, the Baca 60 that we built today, which this very nice side profile, and with this very unique. Oh, sorry this very amazing let me do something hold on so this is the board in full screen so you guys can see this amazing background um, backplate and 
I think I'm gonna actually finish with this image. So thanks everybody for joining and I'll see you guys on the next stream. How heavy is it? I, I don't have a scale handy, Nazcus, but it's pretty heavy. I can tell that this must be on the two point something kilos for sure. The brass plate on the bottom makes it really heavy. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining, and I'll see you guys around. See you guys later. Take care. Bye now.